Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Monday, August, August 1st. Yeah, we're in August now. So um, last week we were talking a lot about God's I am statement in Exodus 3, where he told Moses, I am who I am. Today we are moving into another I am statement that was made. It's bringing us into the New Testament. It's actually something that Jesus said, and we're going to be diving into that. So let's pray. Lord, as we dive into this message, help us to understand you better, understand our relationship with you better, and draw closer to you. Lord, as we go through our day, all we want to do is be able to glorify you and point others towards you. Help us to keep those God goggles on our face and be aware of those moments where we can have that, that time to share who you are, share what you've done in our lives, and be bold about it. We love you, and all we want to do is glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, this I am statement brings us to John chapter 6. And I kind of want to set up the whole scenario for you, and then we're going to really break down what it meant when Jesus said, I am the bread of life. <clears throat> so in John 6, 25, it says, When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Now he had just fed the 5,000. <clears> Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. He's basically saying, Don't make <clears throat> excuse me, don't make your priority. The temporary things of this world. Think about that eternity. Invest in your eternity. Get into that relationship with him and build upon and secure the eternity that you will have. <clears throat> then they asked him, what must we do to, to do the works, works God, has re God requires? Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. It is that simple. That is your job. And when that belief really takes a hold <clears throat> of your heart and your mind, you are drawn into that service. You are drawn into wanting to bear that fruit and glorify God. You're so excited about who God is that you want to tell everyone who will listen what God has done. So they asked him, what sign will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, and this is where he rocks their, their brains. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. He's saying, give credit where credit is due. Moses did not provide that bread. God did. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to this world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. We're going to examine that sentence really deeply in just a minute here. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. You will always have that sustenance. You will, And it's not just the physical sustenance of food and drink. It's that spiritual sustenance. You're always going to have that nourishment that you need to grow your relationship with Christ. Now the question is, are you going to go for it? You have to step out and take that. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them at the last day. At this, the Jews began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread come down from heaven. They said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he say I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to the, me unless the father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets. They will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. So he's giving 
all this credit and all this glory to the Father. So now let's look at what this really means. Now that word am is, um, it's a Greek word and it's pronounced ami and its origin is it's to exist, to happen, to be, to be present. Um, it's, uh, it means I exist, I am here, I, I have been, I was, and I currently am. That there's a lot of similarities to what God said I, when God said, I am who I am. It was about that existence. Now that bread is translated is artos in the Greek, and that is food composed of flour mixed with water and baked. The Israelites made it in the form of an oblong or round cake as thick as one's thumb and as large as a plate or platter. Hence, it was not to be cut but broken. Loaves were consecrated to the Lord of the bread used at the love feast at the Lord's table. So it literally means a food that you can eat and take in that nourishment. So Jesus is saying, I am your nourishment. And then we get to this word life, which is zoe. And, and in Thayer's, it says, it's the state of one who is possessed of vitality and is animate every living soul life of the absolute fullness of life. Remember in John 10, 10, Jesus said, I came to give you life and give it to you abundantly, which belongs to God through him, which is the hypostatic logos and to Christ in whom the logos put on human nature, life real and genuine. What's logos? It's the word. It's the word became flesh. Jesus said, when you dive into the word, you are you are, take, you are biting into that loaf of bread and you are getting that nourishment. When you spend your time in the prayer closet, you're getting that nourishment. When you're listening to the still small voice of the Holy Spirit, you're getting that nourishment. When you're praising God, you're getting that nourishment. That nourishment is there and it all happens through your relationship with Jesus Christ. So go into your prayer closets and get yourself nourished. Get yourself ready for your day. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.